Hi, I'm Pastor Joe Campbell, pastor of Morningside Church, and I am so glad to be a part of this ministry and to be a part of the partners of Morningside and all the things you're doing here at the PTL Network. Just wanted to share with you some of the good things that God is doing and let you know that the Bible says that God ordains our steps, that the steps of the righteous are ordered of God. And in the process of ordering those steps, He always puts the right people at the right time doing the right things together. And by the working of all the networks and all the things that God has done, we've been able to minister to people in areas all over the world. And it wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for your support and help. We want to thank you for that. And let me fill you in on a few things. The Farms to Family. You know, when we were bringing in the big semi truckloads of groceries and being able to help families and people that would come from the community, uh, literally cars lined all the way across the parking lot and down the road and all the way back out the other side of the road. And there was people coming to take boxes of food, not only for themselves, but for other people, their neighbors, their friends, their families, and things like that. We had a number of churches that would come and they would fill up vans and cars and trailer loads of food and be able to take it to other places wherever they were at and to assist them in their outreach of their local communities. And it was a number of churches that did this. And then we had uh, on a weekly basis and on a monthly basis, we had chicken that was given, we had eggs that was given, we had bread, a local bread company that was donating bread twice, three times a week sometimes. And, they, and it was going to our community and helping our people in our area. And then we have uh, what we call our Christmas extravaganza. And I'm telling you what, this year was probably one of the biggest years we've done it in a long time. And I am excited to say that our people were able to donate and not only donate, but help us get this out to the community and the people in the area. Some of them would receive letters of uh, families with seven and five and six kids and three kids and different things through the schools. And so the schools had passed that information that these kids are in need of a, a good Christmas. And so some of our families were instructed, go and not only shop for yourself, but shop for these families. And they would adopt a family and they would package these gifts, take it out to the families and help the family so that they was making sure that they got the, the needs met. Then the clothing that we helped with in Louisiana. And I know we took a a big truckload of food or clothes down there and was able to help out in the Louisiana uh, disaster or whenever they were in a crisis and they needed our help. And then the missions programs that we have. And we have a number of missionary works that we are involved in, but like Guatemala, El Salvador, Honduras, and, our, and we have like five local Spanish churches that we're involved with, the Chi Alpha Ministries out of Columbia, and uh, that college campus, and we're, we're strong in supporting our college campuses, and we love that. Then the Teen Challenge, we had the Teen Challenge groups come here, giving their testimonies, sharing what God has done for them. i tell you another one is our Camp Bell. Camp Bell is our kids camp, youth camp, our discipleship, our ministry, outreach, where we had over 250 campers this summer. We had uh, 87 young people that accepted Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. Over 95 of them were baptized in, a, in a water this year. We had so many good camps. I mean, the kids would come in and they'd start worshiping and, and the, uh, ministering around the altars and things till three o'clock in the morning. And I mean, it was amazing what God did in just a short amount of time. One week, we can change those kids' lives, but we couldn't do it without the help. And we want to thank you for that. You made it possible for us to do Camp Bell another year. Well, this was our 31st year of doing camps at Camp Bell. And I am so glad that you are a part of that. And you've helped us so many different ways. And I'm just thankful for it. If it wasn't for you, like I said, this would not be possible. But God bless you and thank you for helping us. He God can't. will not bless the murder of babies. No. He can't. And, and that's the reason we built Lori's house. Yeah. I never in a million years thought that I would have a home that we would build for women who were unwed, 
pregnant, found themselves pregnant, and have them come and live in this beautiful home to save these babies. I was in jail, and I was facing 15 years in prison. Um, so kind of took the chance, you know, to, to try to get out and have a healthy pregnancy. The, the judge let me out. When I got here, I was five months pregnant, and I had about a week off of drugs. And I remember sitting outside and looking up at the sky, and, and I said, God, I can't do this. I can't, have this. I can't have this baby. I was homeless, pregnant, almost about to have Marley, my daughter, and I didn't know what I was gonna do. Packing up and just walking away from it all um, to escape that abusive relationship was not an easy feat for me. It's hard to walk away from things. The mom the woman that finds herself on the streets, finds herself homeless, finds herself in a bad situation, needs to get out of it actually, because God has a greater plan for your life. So I would say, if you ever need a place to come, this is the place to come. There's so much love and there's so, just so much care that they have here, um, especially, I mean, it is very, um, it will definitely open your eyes to what the Lord has for you. So if there's anything else, I mean, it does, it does matter, and you as a mother matter, and so does your baby. Lori's house is a, is a place not just for, um, for girls who are considering abortion, but also for girls like myself who are escaping a terrible place in their life. What I have taken from Lori's house is what God gave me, and that was his love. That no matter how angry I was at him and blamed him for all the bad that happened, no matter how much I blamed God for that, he still loved me enough to bring me here. I didn't want to bring another baby into this world and lose him um, or her. So um, God has blessed me with an opportunity to be the mom that I never thought I could be. And um, I just want you to know that there are people out there <clears throat> that really want to see you succeed and that will help you and walk with you and fight those battles with you that you're not alone and that you have a place to go. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with these ladies. I'm overwhelmed with these babies. I'm overwhelmed. It's just the most beautiful, precious thing ever. It's the greatest outreach we could ever do with our ministry. This is the greatest outreach our ministry has. It's called Lori's House. Our biggest <laughs> struggle yes. at Lori's House is trying to figure out what where they go. It's true. It's true. You know, when you have a, a child, and we run a children's home for a number of years, but you'd see these kids, yeah. they don't want to go back. No. And they cry. Mm. And you got to let them go. Yeah. And when the moms start crying because they're scared because they've been down that road, Born Inside is a safe place. And if they could, they'd live here forever. <laughs>what's going on in Ukraine and we want to just mention Ukraine for a minute um, you're, you're working in Ukraine yeah we are uh, I'm, while this show's being aired I'll be in Ukraine wow. actually Wow. wow. So pr amazing. pray for me right yeah. now, please. Okay. Yes. Jesus you're watching bless the program. You. Jesus bless you. Yes, thank yeah. you. And I, I, you, I want people to help you. What are you going to do, Rabbi, when you're there? What, what are you going to do?
on this trip you're taking? And where are you going? Well, the greatest single need right now mm -hmm. is medical care mm -hmm. and medicines. Yeah. Things that we take for granted when we yeah. need antibiotics, they're oh. easy to get. Yeah. Right now, people are getting sicker and sicker. I just talked to uh, partners on the ground yesterday, and they're watching people die in wow. front of them. If there's something we can do, mm. and I don't know what, you know, I'm a wounded warrior, I guess, but I... I, I, I I want to help. I want to do something. Amen. If you need vehicles or you need this or you need that, just tell us. And we'll work on it because I want to be a part yeah. of Amen. what you're doing. Amen. I'll keep you up there. I just, what I, what I love is watching how the, the reality that greater is he that is in you yes. than he that is in the world Amen. has come to fat pass. The enemy tried to stop your speech. And now you're proclaiming the, yeah. the Lord and uh, the need that's yeah. out there. I just, I'm so yeah. grateful to the uh, Lord for this yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that is good. Shalom, everyone. Rabbi Jonathan Burnus here with Jewish Voice. Since the outbreak of the war in Ukraine, we've been actively involved in providing needed humanitarian aid to suffering civilians many of whom are now living in safer areas of Ukraine. As I speak, however, there's millions more Ukrainians who are without electricity, without heat, needed medicines, or clean water. Through your support, we've been working to meet those needs. With your help, we've sent over a 1,000 water purification systems into war-torn areas without clean water. Through your generosity, basic essentials like food, medicine, and blankets have been provided to senior citizens and shut-ins. In Kiev and in other cities, we've been working with Messianic Jewish believers and dedicated Christians who have been purchasing needed medicines and supplies through the funds that you've provided, and they're distributing them to the needy and suffering in the name of Jesus. And these people are responding to the gospel. We're now providing hundreds of wood-burning stoves and fuel to those who are without electricity and heat to keep these people from freezing during the cold winter months. I want to say thank you to my dear friends Jim and Lori Baker and to everyone at Baker Ministries and all of you who have supported this important work. We love you and we thank God for you. Merry Christmas and a very happy new year to you all. One of the saddest weeks of my life. Right. I have You're grieved talking, yes. and grieved and grieved. Because for um, the, the people dying in Ukraine. Yes. God told me he cries over his people. Yes. Yes. And in the middle of the night when I was praying and asking God, please show me what to do, mm -hmm. my phone rang and it was Jim Baker. We are trying to build the resurrection center right now, the refugee center right this minute. There is a building that has been sitting for the last six years unused and unfinished. And it's, it's been talking to me saying, what, what are you going to do about this? Two nights ago, Jim Baker called me and he says, we need to build a refugee center. And I said, you won't believe what we have sitting ready to go. And that building you're looking at is as big as Grace Street. It's four stories tall because there's a basement there you can't see. And that building there is waiting for us to finish which will build a house and accommodate hundreds of refugees. And um, our kids are going out there on a continual basis on this, on this conveyor belt of hope that they're, that they're caring for right now. They're sleeping at the border where the people are coming off the buses. You can see Nadia right, lying see in her hoodie. Yep. The other, the other relief workers go to other places to stay. And our kids refused to leave in case refugees came in the middle of the night and there was no one there. Mm. 
I the Lord was, spoke to me. We need to order another van, uh, yes. a Volkswagen. Yes, that you can a, get right from the. Yes, we can get from them. Volkswagen. Yes, we can. We, we just bought one last week, and thank God for you folks. Listen to me, all the partners of this ministry that are helping us with blankets. It is such a blessing, and and we managed to turn this thing around on a dime. When Jim says we want to help you with these blankets, we went to this company in. Now and, and we says we don't care what there they are like. right there on the truck. Yeah, that's our van. Wow. Yeah, Amen. that crazy. And that that, that is how many morning. days from when we ordered them. That was yesterday morning. Just that they picked less up than those. a week away. Yeah. That was yesterday less than morning. A week away. Yes, yes. less than less a, week. a week from on this show. Yes, yeah. less than one week. That's and crazy. this is a war zone. This is the most hideous war yes. zone I've ever seen. We ordered how many? A thousand. A thousand. A thousand. Yeah. Let's order another thousand. Amen. I will do it this afternoon. Amen. Absolutely. Amen. Absolutely. And well, one of the things we want to do is we want to, uh, with every blanket, I'd like to tuck a Bible in. Yes. That Amen. Amazing. Yes. Wow. That's amazing. I'll tell you the, the thing I'd like to have somebody give to my loved one, if they're in the war yes. and are facing death, yeah. is to give them the living word of Amen. the living God. Yes, amen. That they may know how. You are the vital link that keeps this place going and the ministry going and expanding. We're not here just to maintain. We are going to occupy until the Lord Jesus amen. comes and God is on our side. And if God be for us, who can, can be, be against us? So amen. Amen. Hey everybody, this is Mondo. Recently I had the opportunity to travel with Pastor Troy Brewer to visit an outreach program his church operates in Acuña, Mexico. I gotta be honest with you, I wasn't prepared for what I saw. I came face to face with the pain and the trauma of child trafficking. But God, God has always provided an answer to prayer for this terrible situation. The vision of the Amor Orphanage is a place of refuge, a healing place, a place of hope for the children who are rescued from this nightmare and this trauma. The orphanage not only rescues the children, but they provide a place to live, hot meals, education, and that shows them the love of God through the power of restoration. And as we share the vision, as we share the video, we showed what we are doing, what Pastor Troy and his ministry and the church are doing to rescue these children. And we ask you, our partners, to consider blessing this outreach program along with all of us. I cannot believe the response. You responded with over $15,000 of support for this much needed safe place for the children. I want to thank you on behalf of Pastor Jim and Lori, the Jim Baker Show, and Morningside USA for your support. I want you to take a few moments to watch this short video that Pastor Troy and I recorded while we were in Acuna, Mexico. Watch this. What has happened is every form of atrocity against children that you can imagine is happening, and it's happening in broad daylight. Um, people, uh, children that... Uh, children that are here from this region where you and I are walking through right now and people that are from way down south they're literally snatching kids bringing them up here and, and brother they're bringing them for three different reasons one is for sexual trafficking for pornography rings the second one is for body parts and then the third one is for some kind of an adoption racket that's the only reason to to enslave a child but they're specifically targeting a certain demographic of children for certain kinds of pornography rings or because hey uh, today we have a doctor that's going to be here and we need the eyes of 30 or 40 kids they will line up 30 or 40 kids and they will literally steal their eyes or they'll steal some other organ out of their body because they have a market to sell it that's going on completely unchecked I mean, it's going on unchecked. And where is the outcry? Where is the outrage? You know, nope. Um, um, this, it's, it's really, it's, it's not like anything I've ever seen, brother, in my entire life. We're gonna go over there to our rescue home and let's see what's gonna happen. So we Look at 
to this guy. Oh, uh, vení, vení. ¿Cómo te llamas? Huh? Mi hermano. ¿Cómo te llamas? Come here and see me. They say, hola. <laughs> oh, this little guy. So. My friends, blessing and peace on you. Hey guys, this is Pastor Troy Brewer, and I'm here in beautiful San Juan, Puerto Rico. And guys, my travels take me all over the world, and today I'm stopping for just a minute to say thank you. Thank you so much to Pastor Jim, Sister Lori, to Pastor Mondo, and for all the partners of this great network. Do you know what you guys helped me do? You guys helped me save a whole bunch of boys and girls out of the horrors of sexual trafficking. And guys, you know what? We even made it look easy. This last year, we built our very first rescue center on the Tex-Mex border. And guys, we've already rescued over 80 boys and girls out of sexual slavery. Like what? Yep, you know what that is? It's the power of partnership. And you guys made it happen. So I wanted to stop while I'm here in beautiful Puerto Rico and say this looks like freedom to me. And guys, there are at least 80 little boys and girls that are experiencing their very first Christmas in freedom because of you. Again, one more great big thank you to all the partners of this amazing network. Thank you so much, Brother Mondo. Thank you so much, Pastor Jim. And I call you all the head and not the tail, above and not beneath, and highly favored of the Lord. Bye-bye, everybody. Giving everybody an opportunity to partner with this ministry. That's right. To keep the voice of the prophets. The platform that God told Jim, and then he spoke it to me 24 years ago, and we just said yes. Hey, my name is Rick Renner, and I have a TV program that is on Voice of the Prophets channel, which airs every day, Monday through Friday, 8 o'clock and 5 o'clock. And I want to tell you something. This ministry really underwrites my program on their channel, and I'm so thankful. But what I want to tell you right now is it takes really big money to produce, to develop, and maintain a channel that's taking teaching of the Bible to the ends of the earth. I know that because I have a satellite network. The PTL network of the prophets that Jim has organized is one of the few networks where you will absolutely hear the unadulterated pure truth of the prophetic that is happening in America, in the nation, in the world, and what is coming in the future. You know, it's not just about a television network. Yeah. It's about yeah. just tapping into the lives of people all over the world. You That's know, right. what you all are giving to Ukraine and orphanages yeah. and so many others. And so sowing a seed here is so important. I can't think of a better ministry for the voice of the prophets to go around the world in a time like this, when everything is happening here at the end times, we need this network. Hey everybody, this is Mondo and welcome to Studio B, the set of the Mondo Show here on the PTO Network. I wanna thank the PTO Network for giving me the opportunity to go around the world with this ministry. Listen, I get to interview people that are changing the culture today, people that have a lot to say about what's happening right now. And if it wasn't for the PTO Network, I would not be able to do what I'm doing today. Thank you so much for supporting the PTL Network and its outreach. And if you have a heart to give, God will get you the seed to sow. Right. right. You just got to have the heart said. to give. If you really want to give and you want to see souls yeah. saved, yeah. I mean, the, what we're doing, the gospel of the kingdom is being preached in all the world. We're living it. We're having to see this gospel through these networks taking the gospel to all the world yes. right now. What I want to be a part of that. I don't know yes. about everybody else, but I want to have a part yes. in getting the gospel around the world. Me too. And this is what an opportunity yes. that we have. That's and right. your purpose right now is to be a part of what God is doing right here. That's Amen. the reason why you're tuned in. It's not by accident. Today, we can hit it on the cell phone. Right. Back yep. then, everybody had to be around a TV. Yes. For the gym now, you can get them in a bus stop. You can get yeah. them when they're going, while they're sitting right. on the beach, having a smoothie, enjoying That's the right. waves <laughs> crashing in, sitting there watching. That's, That's right. It. This is the time for a voice yeah. like this. Yes. Yep. 
let's get a seed in the ground to sow into the voice of the prophetic network and to sow into PTL so that these voices will not be silenced. And I'm so thankful for the Baker family and for this network that refused to be censored. They refused to be silenced. But I'm afraid that we're raising up a generation taking over the churches that the people are not going to hear it. That's why it's important, listen to my heart, that this network expands and gets into homes around the world. There may be people that will never hear a true prophetic message in some areas unless it comes through this source. I can't imagine that the Christian world would not have the Jim Baker Show and the voice of the, program, of the prophets programming. We, we reach millions of people around the world continually. God's people, the children of, of God. And just remember, everybody doesn't have available to them what you have so accessible to you. There are people out there who are literally saying, God, please send me a voice. Send me someone that I can trust. They're sitting in darkness just grasping for answers and bam, this channel comes, this ministry comes and provides what they needed is living water and you helped it to get to them. That's what partners do, that's what givers do. And you're gonna tell the Amalekites, you're gonna tell the powers of darkness with love to make Jim Baker's arms grow so weary that he quits and says, well, there's no point. We are going to hold his hands up in the name of Jesus. I plead the blood of Jesus over your mind and your spirit. I claim healing in your body. I speak life into your spirit that God is for you. And if God be for you, who can be against you? I've heard you say this thousands of times. If two agree is touching anything, it shall be done. Lori and I want to thank you so much from the yes. bottom of our heart for standing with us. I want to pray for you. I want you to make it in this coming new year. Yes. This year that I believe is going to be the beginning of end time events. More, like no, none other time in history. God has shown me things that are about to happen. I'm going to be sharing from the Word of God what is happening soon in this country. It's so important that you are ready and we need your support. I want to be here every day. I'm believing God to live a long life so I can bring the warning that God has taught me from the book of Revelation. Yes. And I'm going to bring it to you every day and bring you the guests. We have guests like no other show in America. No other program brings you the caliber of guests that we have on this program. I can't do it alone. You can support us for as little as a dollar a day. That's $30 a month. And say, Jim and Lori, we're going to stand with you. I'm going to come here every day. Sometimes I, I don't have the energy to come, but I come. Yes, and I'm going to be here. I want you. Some of you are my age. You need to put that energy out. <laughs> I need your help. And if you could do a dollar a day, if you can do fifty dollars yes. a month, yes. you could do the, that's my club, the President's Club, a hundred dollars a month. But we need that monthly support if we're going to stay on the air. These are troubled times. So what I'm saying is, whatever you can do. If to, we put it together, we're going to be able to stay on the air, on the air this coming year. So if you can give that dollar a day, that means an awful lot. As we put it together, we're going to make it because God is going to help us make it through. But we all, all of us must stand together. We want to thank you for making this miracle possible. Many years ago, the enemy took away everything I had. And people said, well, he'll never be back. But God knows different. Maybe you feel like God's through. He's not through with you. God's not through blessing you. He's not through using you. God wants to give you strength in these last days. Yeah. And I want to be here to encourage you. If I can make it, then you can make it. And together, we can win the world together as we stand together. So we do need your help at this time as we begin this great year of great, great prophetic words coming. Great prophetic things are going to happen. 
in the, you're going to see signs in the heavens and in the earth in this coming year. Is that right, Lori? Absolutely, Jim. And you know, we do really, we really do get the the best of the best guests on our broadcast. I know just recently we had Perry Stone on, and oh wow, I wish I could have had him for a whole week. He said something that's so powerful. He said, "There's two things, two things that are that we will be able to survive, so to speak." At, during these last days because we are we really are in the last of the last days whether you believe it or not all you have to do is read the word but he said the two things it's going to be love loving one another and unity coming together in unity coming together in one accord he said something that I've heard you say so many times. We've taught our children this. He said every morning when he wakes up, he, he asks for wisdom. Every single morning. And, and we have to ask for wisdom every single morning. How, Lord, what, what would you have me to do today? And I, I just want to say, I want to thank you from the very bottom of my heart that we have this opportunity to broadcast to the whole world, literally to the whole world. And you are a part of it. And now we are needed more than ever as believers, standing together in one accord. And Jim's always taught us this, keep short accounts with God. In the morning when you wake up, Lord, is there anything inside of you? Keep short accounts with him. He honors that. He loves you. We love you. Our family loves you. You have no idea how much you mean to us. Together we can do all things in Christ. That's right. And that unity. And today I'm just asking you to help with the monthly giving, whatever you could do. Just use the number on the screen and call me. Right. Yes, call us right now, 1-888-988-1588, or go to the website, jimbakershow.com. Your monthly gift is so important this year for us to stay on the air, and we need help every day. And Christmas has been a little difficult because people are giving gifts to each other, and some of them forget to give to the Lord. So we need your help at this time as we enter this new year. And uh, remember, if you haven't given that special I Am Not Ashamed of the Gospel of Jesus Christ offering of $50, I want to send you the beautiful cross made in Jerusalem. And I want to send it to you as you give that special love gift of $50. So help us to stay on the air for the coming year. Do something today. Call us, write us, be a part of outreach for Christ. God loves you. He really does. Bye-bye for today. We love you. Bye-bye.